Hey everybody, welcome back to Kane and Lynch 2. After a rather long delay there, we've uh, thankfully survived that uh, horrible racial helicopter crash, and we're now on the ground, except we're weaponless. I'm still Negroth, and Fataku is here with me. Hello. Hey everybody. Uh, so yeah, we're in a we're in uh, Shang Tsi's building, or well, on top of it, I should say, and uh, we're kind of in a scrape. Thankfully, they uh, they give us the opportunity to get weapons pretty early on. Otherwise, we'd probably be fucked pretty bad here. Because yeah, they just kind of walk right over to you and get grabbed. Yeah, they're they're thankfully not very observant. At least those first two guys are, because otherwise, I'm I'm sure they could just easily one-shot us since they both have the high-powered sniper rifles. And these particular guys, though they might look like cops, are actually security guards for Shang Tsi's building. Which means that they will all be carrying the army level uh, assault weapons and uh, sniper rifles and shotguns. Which is, uh, it's both equally a good and a bad thing, especially when I can't honestly tell where I got shot from. I think you shot me. Is that even possible? Uh, it's, it's definitely probable. But I don't think it's possible. No. So, um, yeah, uh, this whole rooftop area is, like, littered with, what are these, like, air conditioning units? Well, I mean, it, it's probably air conditioning for the entire building, and this, this is a huge skyscraper, so I assume it's, it's probably for everything. I, I swear, I'm, I'm trying to look for this guy, and I finally realize it's like, that one guy right yeah, there. Yeah, he's up there, yeah. I can swear on any of my previous playthroughs, I don't remember a guy ever being up there, so... Just honestly, never really knew the guy was there in the first place. But yeah, this is actually the the penultimate level of the game, and it's it honestly should be the ultimate level. I, I'd say just it, it's a very structurally sound level. I mean, architecturally wise, it's it's a lot better set up than most of the other levels, which are just you know very obviously linear alleyways and things like that. This at least gives a, a very open environment, plenty of areas to flank around and visages to uh, to look over and be like, ooh, ah, this looks really nice. Multiple ways to deal with the uh, scenarios. Yeah, and speaking of the ending, I, I definitely agree with you that the end of this game kind of felt to me like, almost like the ending of the Lord of the Rings trilogy where there was like, it kind of kept going after the ending, and you're like, "All right, so what's going on?" Yeah, I think I think I was reading somewhere that I guess uh, one guy that had gone to see like uh, the Two Towers or Return of the King, like they thought maybe like nine or ten different times the movie was over, and the entire theater just started to get up, and it was like, "No, still going. We got we got to see we got to see Bilbo to the boat, right?" I don't even know if that was the ending. Probably wasn't. Well, spoilers for Lord of the Rings, guys, I guess. They they get rid of the rings. They and just have the kills. eagles fly in and, and drop the rings. And and they ride the trees. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And George Carlin is the president of the future. <laughs> oh my god. Seriously, that's that's got to be the disaster of 2012. Is the corpse of George Carlin reanimated air, and runs for office? And air guitars, it, air guitaring is now our, our way of saying. It. Hey, Wild Stallions was awesome. They could right. they couldn't even spell their name right. <laughs> so yeah, this uh, I think when we were initially recording this, we were running into. Uh, I, I think we were just a bit rusty. <laughs> We actually uh, died quite a few times. Uh, thankfully, most of that has been edited out. But uh, this level is is honestly probably a lot more difficult than most of the other previous levels, especially what could be considered the boss room. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I would agree with that. I think that uh, I think that I mean, you guys will see coming up. There's a pretty significant amount of uh, SWAT guys that attack us all at the same time. Yeah, that's 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 uh, that's closer to the end of the video, I should say. For right yeah. now, for right now we're just dealing with um, 
Well, I guess these guys aren't even army guys. These are just dressed up security forces for Shang Tsung, who apparently is Mao Zedong. I don't really know on what level the, the Chinese bureaucracy this guy is, but he has a ungodly huge army. Are, are we, I mean, are we supposed to assume that this is some kind of like PMC, or is is he actually backed by the Chinese military? I think he's just a. I think he's just a really rich businessman slash criminal who somehow has an army half the size of China. But it's it's hard to yeah, say. Yeah, obviously he's getting his money worth. His money's worth, considering you know, to slashed up, washed out, you know, out of shape white guys are like cutting through his entire entourage here. Well I mean maybe if his army also had regenerative health. That is a that is a good point. But yeah, I mean these I mean we these guys are still bleeding to death pretty much. I'm surprised they haven't run out of blood by now. Well I think I think there you you can tell there is obviously an attempt made to Bandage them up. Get outside. Just keep calm and make room for two white blood covered guys in China. And that is why I don't ride elevators. Because you're afraid that a Chinaman's out to kill you? Well, I mean, you know. Just because you're paranoid China. doesn't mean they're not to get you. The about unknown knowns, like unknown unknowns. That's insane. So our our friend, the attack heli helicopter, he's back. Yeah, but at uh, alien engines. Yeah, what is like? I never really got a good look at these when we were playing through, but I have no idea like what the hell those well, are supposed to be. Well, Shang Tsung's front is apparently making um, dioramas for engines. That's, Someone's got to make those dioramas. That's why they have so many computers running AutoCAD. The and diorama business is, is a uh, lucrative field, believe. from what I hear. Yeah. But yeah, that's uh, the C-Tech helicopter out there. And right now we have no real means to, to take care of it. Obviously, we, we already took care of, like, two in the previous mission, but we also had... Pretty much unlimited uh, heavy machine gun ammo. There I died. I think you were trying to rush over to help me, but at this point, uh, we, were just yeah. much, we were just pretty much fucked. Yeah. Um, I, I was almost to you when I got, like, clipped pretty much. I was looking right at you. Yeah, it's. This particular part can be pretty difficult, just. There, there's still a lot of uh, soldiers coming at you, and there's also now the helicopter that really quickly kills you. I, I can't even begin to fathom how annoying this part would have been on extreme. Yeah, it makes me kind of glad we didn't do <laughs> the whole game on extreme. Yeah, uh, I, I can recommend to anybody that uh, hasn't yet watched, you know, watch about three minutes of the extreme video to. Uh, Get a good idea of how everything just one shot you, no matter what. You just spend a lot more time looking at the you died screen. Yeah. Get out of here. But yeah, this. Uh, so this is. The, I'm sorry, go ahead. Mom. <laughs> but yeah, uh, this part can be a bit confusing just because uh, you're thinking about, or you're trying to figure out where you're supposed to go, and what you're supposed to do, and are you, if you're even supposed to actually take down the helicopter. Well. You, you are, it's just the way to take it down is not until the next room. And the guy that, uh, the guy that actually has the heavy machine gun is thankfully nowhere near cover, so it's, uh, it's time to go rush and get a heavy machine gun while getting shot to pieces of the gap. Yeah, it's, you know, it's a surprising amount of bullets these guys can absorb. I'm talking about Lynch, where you just like chased down the helicopter while he was unloading into your kneecaps, and you're just like, man, my maybe screen got a little red. Maybe they should have shot rockets at us or something. Because now they have to deal with two heavy machine guns playing into the 
much. Yeah, once you get those machine guns, it's, it's basically over. Yeah. And thankfully, there's enough uh, bullets in them. You can actually carry them for quite a bit of time. Yeah, they're not completely useless like the sniper rifles that carry six rounds. Yeah. I don't know what this board says, but it's pretty interesting. They're like, new marketing strategy. How do we avoid being slaughtered by two white guys? How do we really sell these dioramas? More dioramas. That's right. Yeah. But yeah, so uh, I finally decided to show.